having been able to experience all those different cars and championships and teams, I think it made me very complete. P3, Formula 2, F1, Formula E, Indy, LM, T2. What are the main characteristics and differences between these categories and these cars? So I've been very fortunate to race in many different cars, to have seen many different teams, even in Formula 1. And I think what I've learned is that um, obviously all kind of championships and cars require subtle different skill sets or, or slightly um, different assets to be successful, but equally it's a racing car. And the basics of racing are, I would say, very much the same across all different series and, and, and racing cars. But having been able to, to kind of experience all those different cars and championships and teams, I think it made me very complete and it gave me the opportunity to look inside of a lot of different environments and to see how they operate and to see where you know um, certain organizations, teams have different strengths and weaknesses. So I'm, I'm coming into Formula 1 as a rookie. Um, actually, I don't think I have a lot of Formula 1 track experience because back in the day, drivers you know, were, were running a full test program. Some other recent new Formula 1 drivers has, have also done you know, probably more private testing than, than I have. But I think the value that I can bring to, to the team is, is obviously the experience I gathered through the different championships and, and cars I've been racing in the past years. If you can like, pick uh, one specific characteristic that makes uh, an Indy car, a Formula E and a Formula One car different, what would you pick? In terms of differences between all those cars, I would say Formula One really stands out because it's so extremely fast. The, the, the level of downfalls and the corner speeds, the braking and deceleration is so extremely high that, that it just nothing comes close and of course the basics remain the same of racing but the loads and the speeds at which a Formula 1 car operates is just on another level. And then I would say Formula E stands out because it requires a lot of cognitive thinking during the race and it requires probably more handlings than any other car but in terms of sensations uh, a Formula 1 car is just from another level.